In this video, we'll talk about the concept of operative and equivalent temperature. So in the picture, you see this man seems to be quite chilly, a bit frozen. Uh, so what, what does he experience? He's in front of a cold window. And um, so what is the combined effect of all these different modes of heat transfer that we have learned about? We'll go into the concept of operative, and temp operative temperature and equivalent temperature in this video. Uh, we start with the long wave radiation exchange. Uh, the, build, uh, the person here uh, is in a room and, and the blue areas represent, for instance, walls that are colder than the body. And the red bar represent walls that are warmer than the body. And the green one may be roughly the same as the surface temperature of the body. So what do we have? Well, we'll have a, a net exchange of heat from the from the the body to the cold wall. Uh, on the other hand, if there is a, uh, a warmer wall, there will be net gain of heat from from that part, while there will be a zero exchange of heat to the other walls, which the same temperature as the body. Uh, but we also have the heat exchange due to convection and uh, it will be determined by the air temperature that surrounds the body so that will give an, a heat transfer as well and the operative temperature is a way of uh, finding an apparent room temperature which take both the long wave radiation and convection into account so the operative temperature is calculated as the average of the mean surface temperature and the room air temperature so it represents the average thermal experience of the room, which is basically a heat exchange with the surrounding room. Uh, but in, in the picture with the man, we see that he might get a net exchange, losing energy towards the cold window. And, and we can also uh, define a directed operative temperature. So this is the, instead the average of the facing mean surface temperature and the room air temperature. So this represents a local thermal experience of the room. So the directed operative temperature towards the cold surface or the cold window is low, while it can be on, on the backside of, of the person. It could be a, a quite high temperature, which uh, the, direct the directed operative temperature could be quite high and comfortable. In the same way, we can look at the buildings. What kind of experience does the building have? Uh, so then we define, instead of operative temperature, we talk about the exterior equivalent temperature, TEC. And the exterior equivalent temperature gives an apparent outdoor temperature that combines all heat exchange with the surroundings. And this is quite a handy uh, concept. This will include solar radiation, long wave radiation exchange, convection and the effect of water evaporation and condensation even. So this can be used to uh, show what kind of heat exchange do we have for the external surface of the building with the surrounding. And then we're using the regular surface resistant, RSE, uh, as a contact surface between the, the surface temperature and the surroundings. Here we have an example with equivalent temperature. We look at this garage roof we have been acquainted with before. Uh, we neglect solar radiation, so this is a night time, and, and we neglect the effect of, of moisture in this case. And the roof will see the uh, surrounding, the clear sk the sky, and this, this, in this example we'll have a, a clear night sky. And the diagram to the right, uh, there are measured values, so we can see on the horizontal axis we have the outdoor air temperature going from minus 20 to plus 15, roughly. And then on, we can go up and find vertical surfaces, sky temperature, and horizontal surfaces, sky temperature. In general, you can say if it's a very cloudy sky, the, uh, the uh, sky temperature is equal to the outdoor air temperature. So let's say the outdoor temperature is zero. And then we look at a horizontal surface. We will find out that the parent, so to speak, sky temperature for clear sky 
will be minus 14 degrees. So this is representative for upper atmospheric uh, layers, the temperature of, of those upper layers. And uh, going back to uh, the exterior equivalent temperature, it will be somewhere in between this minus 14 and, and outdoor temperature zero, so it might be minus 7. Uh, this depends a bit uh, on um, if it's windy or not. If it's very windy, it would be closer to the outdoor air temperature. It's, it's, a, it's a very silent or still night. It would be closer to than minus 14. Summary. The operative temperature gives an apparent room temperature including convection and radiation effects. The operative temperature of a room is equal to the average of the mean surface temperature and the air temperature. The directed operative temperature accounts for local surface temperatures close to the body. The exterior equivalent temperature gives an apparent outdoor temperature that combines all heat exchange with the surroundings.